the danger of mistaken seeds. Okay, the danger of the mistaken seed. So if you believe the seed is us that are saved, you're good to go. Bless the seed, bless us, you bless Christ, great. But if you're wrong on who the seed is and you think the seed is the Jews, then there's, there's a problem. <clears throat> let's, let's hear what the, the Jews actually said about Jesus. Matthew 27, 25. Then answered all the people and said, His blood be on us and on our children. Matthew 27, 31. And after that they had mocked Him. They took the robe off from Him and put on His own raiment on Him and led Him away to crucify Him. So the Jews crucified the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, right? So if we bless them, right, there's danger in that. Now here's why. What did the Bible say about put, hanging someone on a tree? You're cursing them, right? So did the Jews bless or curse the seed? They cursed the seed, right? Now think about this. They cursed the seed, literally. They put him on on the tree. All right? <clears throat> Second John. We're going to look at 9, verse 9, 10, and 11. Whosoever transgresseth and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, Neither bid him God's speed. For he that biddeth him God's speed is partaker of his evil deeds. Now let's think about this. If, if we are incorrect and think, okay, yeah, the Jews, that's the seed. Okay? We're going to bless the Jews. Well, wouldn't we be blessing those that curse the Lord? And when you bid them God's speed, you're partakers of their evil deed. Do you see the danger of getting that doctrine wrong? Israel's fight is our fight. We are one. We are united. We will not be discouraged. Do I believe the U.S. does enough to support the nation of Israel? Yes, sir. Yeah. You know what? I believe with all my heart that we could never do enough. We never could to love God's chosen people. I am Israel, pro-Israel, plus Israel. You know, I am 100% behind Israel. When they see that happening, a lot of conservative voters are going to say, hey, this Cruz guy is better than I thought. In fact, they just had the Christians United for Israel event, which is, right. which is an organization of evangelical Christians that are, that are, that are very, very pro-Israel. This is an image, I think we have this, of Rand Paul praying with them. <laughs> um, this is, there, there right. it is. He's, yeah. he's praying uh, with the QV folks. Let me say this. Those who hate Israel hate America. And those who hate Jews hate Christians. You know what I never call Jesus Christ? I never call him my Messiah. Now you say, well, that was the Jews back then. They, they cursed the seed, literally. Listen to me. The Jews today, they may not have hung him on a tree, but, you know, they curse him in other ways. Take camera. I break your camera. Don't take picture. Shabbat shalom. No picture. We don't want picture. Please. You need, you, need to, you need to. You can't come in here. This is. A, this is a, not your house. This is not your house. We killed Jesus. We're proud of it. They spit on the ground three times at the mention of his name. They say, you know what? Maybe he deserved to die. Maybe he was a wicked son of a sorcerer, son of Pantera. It's possible the Jews did kill Jesus. Right. So okay. if, let's say they did. All right, we, maybe he deserved to die. According, mm -hmm. Maybe he was a troublemaker. Let's assume we did. Mm -hmm. So we killed somebody. They hate him and they curse him. And you know what happens? Larkin said, bless them. Bless those that curse the Lord. And when you bless those that curse the Lord, you're partaker of their evil deeds. It's pretty scary stuff.